Hello, hello, hello. No, no, no. Cancel that. Come up here. Here. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man. There we go. Just going to share it out. Go to the room list. Post. Okay. Okay. Just ignore oh, the glue on my material and this stuff. Okay. So, I started doing a video. I was just going to do a video, and I kept messing up, and I'm like, you know what? I, I'm done. I'm going live. If I mess up, you'll see my mess ups, and you guys have a laugh. So, I'm going to do two pin cushions. Oh, from there. Ignore the glue on the material. So, what you need for this pin cushion is two circles of fabric. A CD, a tuna can or whatever tin like this size, glue sticks, needle, thread, filler. And what you're going to start out with doing is taking your big circle and your needle, which I have taped down because I always lose the end. And you're just going to do a quick stitch around the circle. Like I said, a glue, ignore the glue on here. I oopsed up. So we're just going to go around and do a quick stitch around this edge. Pull a little bit. And I have my end of my thread taped down off to the side so I don't lose it. You'll see that in a second when I go to move. Just little quick stitches. I don't know the space. I just do it. Pull that through. We're going to go back through the hard glue, but you won't see that when I'm done anyway, so it ain't going to matter. I was going to cut a new circle, and I'm like, why? It's all going to be hidden, so it don't matter. Keep going through. I saw this one. A friend of my mom had this, and she showed me, told me how she made it, and I also found a YouTube video. Thanks for the thumbs up. Hello, hello, whoever you may be. Um, showed me how to do it. I was telling Bima, and then I waited till she was done with hers, because she's the one that did the stick pins, and I wanted a lot. So, and then I said I'd, I was going to, out of respect, I waited. Hi, Tina. We're just going to go on the edge around. Real quick around the edge of the circle. You don't have to be pretty about it. You can use any fabric, no matter. I chose red because I like red. And that's now I have my little piece of tape thread right here. I'm just kind of gonna move it so I can finish going around my circle. Hello, Stephanie. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you? Hope all is well. And I'm almost to the one edge where my thread is meeting up. So 
to bring it back down. And then I'm just going to lay that. And then I'm going to lay this flat. So I'm going to spread this out as best possible. You don't have to go perfectly flat. So I'm going to bring this up. So I bring my needle up to. Then I'm going to take my CD. And as you can see, I had to glue down. I just put a little quick glue, hot glue. Oh, I don't know if I told you you needed hot glue. You need hot glue. And just a little bit. And then I'm just going to kind of look and do a quick center. That looks good to me. Press down. And then I'm going to take my end of my thread with the tape on and the thread with the needle on. And I'm just going to pull. Slowly pull it in. So you get this pucker. Look. Okay. No, oh, thank you. And then I'm going to find the needle. And, and I'm going to... Don't pull tight because this is what happened to me. And I tried to hurry up and hot glue it, but it didn't work. Try to pull taunt, but not real bad that you end up breaking your thread like I did the first time around, guys. Just a train of thought. I'm going to do a quick knot with the end. I'm always scared I'm going to break it. I'm going to do a double knot. Woo! See, I did it again. I broke it. Keeps breaking. It's got to be old thread. See? I'm going to get better thread. You guys just see? You just literally watched what happened to me before. This time, I'm not going to take the CV up. I'll be right back. I'm going to get like newer thread. It's got to be old thread. That's twice now that that happened to me. This thread can get old. So let's see. I'm just going to use black. I know that's newer. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Oh. Oh, what was that? I heard a sound. Oh, that's frustrating. That's twice now. I didn't pull it that bad. It's got a... I wish they date it. See, I bought some threads in their garage sale, so who knows how old it was. Oh, man. Yeah. Live video. See? Oh, that irritates me. It's twice. If it happens this time, then I know it's me pulling too hard. What sucks about this is I hate threading a needle because my eyes are so bad. So lucky I get here. I can get lucky, lucky. Woo! Two tries, not bad. All right. You're watching Tina's mistakes. Hey, I'm entertaining at least. I'll pull this off again. Wow. Poor piece of red material. <laughs> I tell you. Okay. Find the end. Find my black. Here we go. Let me say pull. Yeah, it's me. I got to quit pulling so hard. It's me. Don't pull hard, guys. So it's my strength, not the thread. It's me. Don't know my own strength. Lori Morgan strong. Oh, no. Oh. But hey, you came to be entertained, right? Getting entertained, that's for sure. No, watch me not get this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, got it. Hi, my kitty, kitty. Hi, Lucy Lou. Okay. 
I get my piece of masking tape. Tape down my one end. That's my thing. You guys don't have to do that. Let's do this one more time. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, we're all for fun, huh? What else would you be doing at four? Well, five o'clock here. I don't know where time it is where you guys are. But once it's done, it's cute. It's cute. Hopefully I put enough string on this. I see that happening to me. Quick stitch, quick stitch, quick stitch, quick stitch, quick stitch, quick, 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 quick,
off there. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. I got it, guys. First. Whew. I got it. Nice, eh? All right. And I'm just going to put my thread, tape down on my thread real quick so I don't lose that in. I'm going to do a quick pucker stitch again. Well, I got pretty close, but we'll leave it. Oh, oh, I guess not as much as I thought it was. Okay. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Okay. Back and forth and up. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's my needle. Pull it. Come on. There we go. So, got a pocket again. And we're going to move my edge. There. My thread edge, my needle. Sitting right there. We're going to kind of flatten that a little bit. How are you guys doing? Follow along good? Oh. Sorry. I'll get my furry stuff here. My fluffy stuff. Put it in a can. A can. That's good. Put it down. I'm hoping it, it'll probably smooth out a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Janie. How are you? I hope you're well. And I need to shove this in the can. Try as much as possible. And put a little bit more in. I think it needs a little bit more shoved in. Like that. Lay that in the center. Hold it down. Get your two ends. And if I get did the circle big enough, it should go around. Oh no. Guess what? I cut my material too small. So guys. Yes, I did. I gotta cut a bigger piece of circle because this is totally supposed to repeat. See, isn't this a wonderful live, guys? I don't know what I'm doing. So give me a second. <laughs> oh boy. Let me find my red material so I can cut a bigger circle. It's a fun live, ain't it? You can say it. You can give me thumbs down on this because I'm really not prepared. But we're having fun, right? That's all that matters. Why 
Why did I shove my red material? Oh my lord. Help me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, void. Make sure your circles are big enough. Just a B I or I D I Y I. <laughs> Just a hint. Make sure your circles are bigger. Big enough. Just saying. But hey, it's a. This is fun. It's four o'clock and it's five o'clock in the morning. What do you expect? Just okay. I'm gonna use. I don't know what I did. I'm just gonna use the same size circle as I did the first time. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hi, Janie. I appreciate the live video. Okay, I'm going to check out my chat here real quick. This was a rough start, I tell. Yes, I got sleep. Tina always thumbs up. Okay. Yes, I got sleep. Hi, Janie. I can be a bit of perfectionist, and this really helps to let go of some of that. Hello, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, see, you're seeing the mistakes. You so you'll know what not to do. I should call that DIY. Oh, I'm going to move that just to here. And know what not to do. <laughs> Wait till the next one, because that next one is out of my head. This one, I kind of learned from my friend's mom, plus a video. And I still mess this up. But hey, it's fun. I don't take myself too seriously. Okay. There we go. You know? I'm just going to do a quick circle. Once it's done, it'll be awesome. You know what I mean? Burn. Excuse me. To kind of get in the idea. Thank you, Janie. Like I said, I didn't have more than one tuna can, so I couldn't do one. To you, you know, if I would, and I didn't feel like tuna sandwiches today, so I didn't want to open another can of tuna and waste it. I could have gave it to my cat, but I didn't want to waste it. And I didn't feel like tuna sandwiches. So, all right. So I made this circle a little bit bigger than the first circle because I don't know. They, I messed up somehow. Now I have to get my needle and thread. Just boom. There's my thread or my needle. Get that tiny thread out. Oh, look at how I did that. Let me get this. So. We'll make this work. We'll get it done, ladies. We will. And then when it's done, it'll look awesome. And you... But I am sorry. <laughs> so I got some thread on there. Go find my little eye hole. Oh, see the one thing that's going good for me tonight or this morning is I'm actually able to thread my needles. Well, usually I struggle seeing it. So that's a good thing. And I'm going to get rid of this because I probably can use that for clusters. 
I'm going to tape down my end. I know you guys probably think that's weird that I taped down my end. But I have a tendency to pull through. As I'm stitching and I pull, I pull out the end and I'm like, oh, damn it, you know. So, okay. And just another quick stitch. Oh, yeah, mine too. She was there. We had them. What was it? I'm trying to think. Scott worked one night. He's off. He goes back to work. So it had to be Monday night. Lucky, Monday. Monday, I want to say. Monday. Monday or Tuesday night, we had tuna sandwiches, her and I. So I can have a tuna can. I needed a tuna can. And, of course, I gave my girl some tuna. I've had this planned a while. But no more clusters. <laughs> I talked to Bima about it because, you know, she did the stick pins. And I'm like, are you doing a st uh, stick pin holder? And she's like, yes. And then I talked to her. And I'm like, well, I have a version. And we talked about it. And she's like, go for it. And tonight, as I was digging around, I came up with another version I'm going to show you, too. And they're totally different than Bima's. So you got four different ways. You know, I don't like um, raining on somebody's parade, especially when it was her class with stick pins. So I asked, not that I needed her permission, but it was just polite. You know what I mean? Okay. Just the politeness. Now watch me to make, have this circle too big. But oh, well, we're going to work with it. You know, I'm going to work with it. So. Yep. It is. So, it's, you know, I was, I have, um, I just, I think if, especially when you take that person's class, and then, that's why I asked, are you doing a pin cushion as well? And she's like, yes, why? And then I was telling her, because I thought it would be rude for me to put a video out that of a pin cushion before she got hers out, because it was her class that we I took. I know there's a few other ladies that took it. And then she's like, why, what's your version? And then I told her. Which was totally different than hers. But I've, I've... Okay. I just thought it was the right thing to do. All right. I got my threads. Okay. What is, okay. Get out of there. Hold that together. Now. Got my tuna can. I'm going to shove a fill in there. I think probably got a too much fill, but I don't care. I'm going to put that in the center. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to take my threads. And I'm going to pull. Get it kind of even. Don't pull too hard. I already broke my thread twice. And I'm just going to get this arranged a little bit. That looks good. Woohoo! Success! I think it's successful. I'll get my tape one. Lost my tape one here. There we go. Come on. That's one thing about Tim Holt's mat. I don't like. I'm going to try to center that a bit more in the center. There we go. Okay. I don't want to pull too hard because I broke my last thread a couple times, so I don't want to pull too hard. But I want to get it closed really good in the center. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to make me a knot. My thread here. Or my needle. And I'm just going to do a little knot. And then... 
take my tape end and I'm going to bit just a smidgen and I'm going to do another knot. the end there okay and then I'm gonna snip it then put the needle in can you guys see me I'm going to go through and secure it a little bit I'll pull it up The taunt, and I'm going to do it again. One more time, I get the bulk of it. And I'll go through the circle and I'm going to tighten it. Okay. And then I'm just going to do it across like so. So the hole. I think we're good. And one more time for good measure. Just for good measure. Okay. I mean, I've... All right. I thought it was polite and nice. Props went away. Use quilting thread when drawing up circles. What's qu quilting thread? I'll have to look that up. Quilting thread. Yeah, because that twice, actually three times. Because I was going to do this in a video setting. But then I got mad. Yesterday I was feeling so sad. And then Tina did the live last night. Clusters, it was fake. <laughs> I know. I gave her an average of a C. She got graded a C, by the way. That is wonderful, Pete Fidel. <sighs> quilter's thread. Okay, I'll have to remember that next time I go out shopping. Quilter's thread. Yeah, because I this kept breaking on me. The thread I'm using drove me crazy. I'll have to remember. Quilter's thread. Okay. Quilter thread. It's tougher. Okay. Yeah, because I only got soul sewing machine thread is what I'm using right here. All right. I am going to just put me a little gob of glue just to hold that. And then I'm going to trim it. Boom. Woo. That's what we get. We'll set that like that. And we got this piece right here. Then we're going to center it with a bunch of glue to get it centered. And it's going to go like that. I personally, I think I would put two, two discs in to get it more stable, in my opinion. But you don't have to. So now I'm going to do a lot of glue. I should have gotten out my big glue glue gun. We could use Faber Tac. I'm using hot glue, and I'm putting a good amount of hot glue on there at the bottom too. 
Okay. And I'm going to stand up. I'm a little off centered on the, not bad. We're going to press down, press it down. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. Looks good. I think I did pretty good on there. Little. I'm just going to add, go in and kind of maybe add some glue here and there just to get it good and secure. And press it down again. And I got these pearls. And I'm going to use. Where did I get it untangled? There we go. And I'm just going to hot glue them around the edge. Remember, quilting thread. Quilting thread, ladies. Don't use a sewing machine thread. Get to quilting thread like Bima says. See? She's always teaching me something. I also picked some heavier. I should have used my sinew. That would have really been good. My sinew. <laughs> did I use on my leather goods? That would have did the trick too. Yeah, beating. Yeah, that would have worked too. Okay. All right, I got a snip. Right there. Put some pearls going around it. Don't worry, those glue boogers will be gone. Then I have, I think this flower is going to be too big. Oh, I have these red ones, but I thought they'd blend in too much. Oh, maybe not. I have three of them. Nah, I don't like the red ones. Hang on, I'm going to find me different flowers. I like these. Throws it off a little bit. They're kind of uh, cream colored roses.
And another one. We'll stick that one right there. There we go. Voila. Complete. Looks like a little hat. Fancy little hat. And you just stick your pin in them. There we go. That's that one. Now, I have this one I made out of a box. I just put some foam in it. I want to show you when my friend Kathy sent me a long time ago. And I just seen, and I don't remember who did them, but I know they have them at the Dollar Tree. But I just seen somebody bought, um, use these, or bought them, literally. And I don't remember who, who it was. I watch a lot of Dollar Tree videos. To get, Bear with me a second. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is one Kathy made me and sent me a while ago. But she used those little cupcake things from the Dollar Tree. So that, and a styrofoam ball. So yeah, that's another way to do it. Like I said, this is not my idea. This was Kathy's. Oh. Oh, it was Bima. I knew I'd seen it somewhere. Where it was the little... Yep. Now, this next one, this is out of my head. It's kind of going to be similar to this one, the box. But I got a box, and I just saved just some foam that looked like this. Scott asked me if I wanted it. I don't remember what this held, and I'm like, yeah. So I kept it, and I just kind of pieced this bottom together so it... Um, was a whole piece and it's going to go in the box and how i'm going to do this is i'm going to wrap this up like a present and the outside and the box is going to be these little ladybugs i just haven't decided if i want to go with the orange or the green i think i'm going to go with the orange so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wrap my foam up and all i'm going to do is hot glue. I'm just going to wrap it like a gift. And I'm just going to kind of do a little thing of hot glue. And I'm not going to worry about the hot glue on the side. I don't. I just want to bring this up like so and press. Um. You don't have to worry about covering the bottom. Just get enough over the edge. Pull it taunt. And then add some glue. Good amount of glue. Just remember it's styrofoam. It does hold. You just got to press a little bit. I always turn it like this. Get a thread. Where that needle? I'm gonna put that needle away before I lose it and get it in my foot. I don't need the thread anymore. Don't need the thread no more, no more, no more thread. Okay. You just been way too much of the too. Mm hmm. I'm pretty good when I go to Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to fold that in, fold that in, and I'm just going to fold it up. So you kind of got it look like that. Pull it taunt. A lot of glue. And I'm just going to add some more glue. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Remember that. Don't burn yourself. 
because I tell you, it hurts. And same thing. I'm just going to bring it in, wrap it like a present as best as possible. Bring it up. Just You just want it to look bulky, you know. You're not going to see the bottom. It's just going to be the top. It's going to look cool. Oh. And if you want it, just add a little glue here and there and press it in, like here. Press that. That looks good to me. Now, the box is going to be the tricky part. And the way I'm going to do this is after I get glue off my fingertips. I picked this ladybug. I thought it was cute. Is I'm just going to lay the box in the center. And I'm just going to bring it up and fold it in. Because all I do is want it on the sides. So we're going to move this out of the way. Get down. And I'm just going to kind of play by ear. And we're going to make it work. I just want enough material to go over the edge like so. And basically I'm going to wrap it like a present again. Okay. So I'm just going to put some glue on the edge inside this box. See? I'm going to bring my material up and over. Pull it taunt and press. And get a good portion. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it back. And I'm just going to do a slight, just real thin line of hot glue. Pull this back over. Pull it taut. Get it like that. And I'm going to drop my scissors. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Hi, Tina. And then I'm just going to yeah, go right here. That's a good estimate. I'll refold this back over. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue going in the square bottom. And I'm just going to fold the material and I'm going to pull it very tightly. Haunt. Get a good flat edge. I'm going to trim that just a smidgen. See? Cluster material. Because I cut a little too much. I don't want too much bulk. So I'm just going to trim a little bit. Look at cluster material. Yep, that's good. This time around, I'm going to do the outside first. Bring this up. Pull it taut. Press it down. <laughs> oh, 
jiggly inside the box. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I got the edges. Now I got all this over here. I'm going to probably trim a little bit. I'm going to go like that because I'm going to bring it up and it's going to look somewhat like a present. This is what I'm going for on this side. I think it's going to look cool. You may think you have a different way of doing it. It's just to use. But I'm thinking I like the look. And I'm just going to bring it over. So it looks like that on one side. So, anybody have any su other suggestions? Let me know. Because I'm doing it this way. I'm just going to add a little glue. I'm going to pull that down as best as possible. I'm just going to add a little glue. This side, I'm just going to trim. Just a smidgen down. Okay. And then I'm just going to bring it up. I'm going to pucker this one in a little bit. I right, that looks cool. Maybe just a smidgen more off that one edge. Bring that in a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to add a little glue right there. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to smooth it out. Oh, I got an edge that came up, so hang on. Put that down. Ooh, hot chamawi, hot chamawi. Pull that over. Pinch that in. Yeah, it was funny. My ribs hurt after that video. I was laughing so hard. I was trying to... <laughs> Man, she had me in... God, I was laughing. Pitch. So we got that look on that end. I like it. Except I realized my ladybugs are... Well, I guess it's upside down, but oh well. I just realized my ladybugs are going to be upside down. No biggie. Biggie. No biggie. Just turn it this way. I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. No major. See, I don't sweat the small stuff, ladies. The same thing. Don't sweat it. I won't say it. Our cluster material. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. Bring this one in a little bit. Fold it. I'm gonna fold it. I'm pull that. And, oh yeah, I gotta trim that. Trim it. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. It looks 
printed. What do I think? My, oh, look at all that bulk. I don't need all that. I'm going to trim that off. Let me help. Okay. Okay. I'm going to glue that down. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Just put a little edge of glue. I'm going to pull this taut like so. That looks good. And we're going to come to this side. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. So, we will send up big prayers for you. Okay, what's going on with Tina? No, I have to go to the biopsy surgery. It was going to be over. Wow, damn. Alrighty, thanks, Bima. It's always a pleasure. Good night, Harry. And we're going to pull that in. Perfect. Okay. And poof. Press. Oh, I got that Sean. I don't want that Sean. So let me get that out of there. I'm going to tuck that. I'm going to pull that real quick. I'm going to tuck that under. Pull that under, 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 under. There we go. Get that piece out of there, too. Okay. That looks a little better. Just put it under. Okay. And I'm just going to push. Push, push, push it down. And when I cut kind of close, we'll message you on Facebook. Yeah. Yes, please think of Laura's mom. I don't know all the details. And I don't know if she wants any details out. So just keep Laura in your prayers. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Here we go. I think it's cute. Then I'm just going to put a gob of glue just randomly in the bottom. And maybe a little bit on the side of this. Damn it. And I dropped it. Just a little bit. Not much. And, oh, man. I got glue all over. And then I'm just going to get it off my finger. And I'm going to press it in the box. Boom. Get that glue off. All right. Thank you. Yeah, because I'm going to have to start all over. I don't remember the date. I think it might have been yesterday. I don't know. I'll have to look for the year. Now, let me get this glue off my finger. That glue boogers, as I call them, all over. It's driving me crazy, guys. Okay. I think I need something. 
I like how it looks, but I think I need some going around the edge. What do you guys think? It's like a little bed for a Barbie doll or a little doll or something. But I think it needs something going around the edge. Let's see. Look. Glue there. Get that off. So I'm going to find something to go around the edge. So bear with me. This green. It's like lacy with green. I should go, I think, more, go around like that. I got an idea. Hang on. Find the right one. I don't know if it'll be. Long enough. Pulls. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Going on the top. <laughs> I know it's bad. Okay. I just need to cut it. I need to cut. Hey, and I'll show you when I'm done, Tina. Yeah, it just needs. Yeah, it's a pin cushion. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's a pin cushion. Two versions. I like my first one better. I'll be completely honest with you. Cushion.
down. Yeah. Yeah, I made two. Little red hat one. I'll show you it in a second. Okay. Now I'm going to add that. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cool. Just go around. One there. And there we go. Press. So I added some bling on the top and this lace going around the edge. It's cute. And hang on, I got glue on my finger. And So that is the box one. Of the two I made, I like my hat the best. It's classier. And all it is is CD, a tuna can, some fuzzy, wuzzy stuff, and some thread and pearls. So two different little ones. This one's more like a little gift box one. I just thought I like the hat one. The only thing is, is I think what I would have done, I would have put two CDs on in it on it or in here. Make give them a little bit more sturdiness. But them are my pin cushions. Plus this one I made a long time ago, but I didn't cover this and I'm kicking myself in the butt. I don't know if I can get that out. I think I glued that in good. To stick them in. Oh, so. I might try to fix this and add like some material on top of that. And then of course you have Kathy's. And she made hers with one of those cupcake things from the Dollar Tree guys. Kathy's Tarts made me that. Looks like a little cupcake. Once I got this in friend mail, and I don't remember who it's from, but it's cute. But them are me, my pin cushions. At least those two are. Only I did it in an hour, ladies. An hour. I was going to do the video step by step, except my thread kept on breaking. So I gave up and said, you know what? I'm just going to go live. They can see the mistake. And we must sell that one. Embroidery thread. Embroidery thread. So I'm going to call it, but I'm going to be back on in, say, a half an hour. Because I want to do some mixed media. Show you what I got. Or what I actually what I got what I made, and what I'm going to use. So, you're always breaking thread? Yep. So, I hope you all come back and say it's 6 o'clock here. So, six, by, probably 15 minutes I'll be back. I want to go get something to eat real quick. My stomach's growling because I was so tired I didn't eat yesterday. I was up from 10 o'clock last, or 
Let's see, it's is it Friday? Yeah, ten o'clock Wednesday till about eight o'clock Thursday. I could not sleep, and I finally crashed about eight eight thirty. But I didn't. I didn't have an appetite. Um. So my stomach's sitting here growling. So I want to go eat something real quick. Yeah, I got. I. I can go two three days. Sometimes four. I get insomniac, I guess they call it, really bad. But yesterday, at least, I got, I didn't um, stay up. I actually crashed. I put, put Bob Ross on, started watching him paint, and Scott said within a half an hour after I went in the bedroom, he came to see if I was still up. He said it was out cold. So Bob Ross puts, puts me to sleep. And it sucks sometimes because you'll be in that cool ass painting and I want to see it finished and I don't see it finished. So I'll have to re figure out what episode that is to go back. <laughs> but I will be back in about 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. And we're going to do some mixed media. So bye, everybody. As always, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions on any of this, let me know. I prefer my hat ones versus my box one. But I just thought, eh, somebody only has a box. Here's an idea. Because I'm a little off on my edge. But it's cute. It's all that matters, right? And I hope to see you in about half an hour. Like I said, 15, 20 minutes to half an hour. I'll be back on and show you some stuff I got yesterday. And what I made to do some mixed media in. Alrighty, guys, as always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now. Bye, everybody. See you in a half an hour.